Ok. The lateral, the lateral compartment of the leg for peroneus brevis flap and superficial peroneal nerve neurolysis and transfers. We identified the inferior border of the fibula, proximal, about three centimeters is your common peroneal nerve. So your incision had to be just distal to the common peroneal nerve. The dissection is carried down between the anterior and the posterior border of the fibula and immediately should be dissected over the peroneus longus tendon. The muscle adjacent to it will be the brevis. Then what we're trying to do with the dissection is detaching the longus from the brevis. We transect the peroneus brevis at the level in which the peroneus, on, on, uh, where the superficial peroneal nerve becomes muscular. It gets detached from the floor of the compartment, which is the fibula, the flat surface of the fibula. And it gets rotated approximately five centimeters above the ankle, maintaining your septal flow that is peroneal to the inferior border of the fibula. And it's an excellent flap to rotate to cover fibula retrocalcaneal anterior tibial. If it's for anterior tibial, it's gonna go this in this fashion. If it's for lateral calcaneus, it will be this way. Additional cuts could be done in the aponeurosis, external aponeurosis, and very important that before the transposition, you need to perform a peroneal longus to brevis anastomosis.